When you're considering a seating plan, consider where your pupils are sitting. I know most teachers will do this naturally, but if you're presenting information at the front of the screen, you need to be aware of the 468 rule, which determines what images or text you present on the screen versus the size of your classroom and how well this information is received by the pupil. When you consider purchasing devices for your school, often the financial reason drives decisions. But if you're buying one screen, such as the example behind me, consider where this screen will be placed in the size of different classrooms, because one device of a certain size will have a different impact in the classroom. I might purchase this screen behind me, it's a certain size, I might put it in a maths classroom, but then in a design technology workshop, which is a much bigger classroom, the same size screen will have a different impact on pupils' performance. If you're providing devices, please factor in support and training. Schools have very little time for teachers to be trained in new technology and all the different things that they need to do in the classroom. And often, ICT or technology is in the lowest priority when it's compared to marking, assessment, behaviour management, safeguarding, those kind of things.